Okay, in our algebra class with Mr. Clark, our e-learning coach, uh, we have been discussing scatter plots and positive and negative correlation and finding best fit line and finding the slope of that line. Uh, we've t gone through with the netbooks using the spreadsheet and open office to display data. Uh, we did a cup activity where they hung a cup by a rubber band off their desk and filled it with cubes to see um, what happens and if that would be a positive or negative correlation on the distance it, it drops when they add cubes. Um, we took a Barbie doll and tied rubber bands to her legs and run, did some trial runs in the classroom uh, to see how far with each rubber band that's added, how far additional she will fall if she's uh, using a bungee cord. For their homework, they took their knowledge of data um, and best fit line home to predict how many rubber bands they thought Barbie would need to jump off the ramp at Lodge Community School. So, the first day when we did Barbie bungee, we had some trial runs in the classroom where we tried one rubber band and then we didn't get that far, so we had tried two rubber bands and we did a trial with one, two, three, and five. And with five rubber bands, it had dropped to 180. So our homework that night was to try to figure out how many rubber bands it was to get off, to have Barbie the wildest ride off the ramp here at Lodge, which is 507 centimeters high. So we had to use, try to use the best fit line and slope intercept form to find the best estimate for it. I had guessed 10, but that wasn't the only thing. I guess 15, and it was it was the right answer to the one outside of the office. I guess 15 because I used the best fit line to see how much how much it would take to jump off the uh, off of the balcony. Okay, um, the main reason that we did the map. The purpose for doing the math is to make sure that the Barbie was safe before she got on this wild adventure so she wouldn't lose her life, even though she's a Barbie. So we used the, like, if we wanted to jump Barbie off the higher distance with having the wildest ride, we'd have to use the same slope intercept form and the best fit line on our graph that we made to find how many rubber bands we'd have to use to jump her off the high distance. Okay, this is 15 rubber bands. Yep. All right, three, two, one. Ha ha! It didn't hit her head, no, no. Her hair, her hair touched. Her hair touched, didn't it? Whee! <laughs> 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 All right, what do you guys think? We should do six. We should do 16? 15 is my yeah. Okay. Let's, okay. 16. Rubber bands. Three, two, one. Drop it. Drop it. 15. 15. 15. 15 is the answer.